Hello there, everybody. Good morning. It's time for another installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. My name is Tom Rigsby, the unashamed nonconformist. I like throwing that in there. I think I'm going to keep doing that. I have my coffee this morning. If you want, if you want different results, you have to do things differently. That's, uh, that's sort of what we're talking about this morning. We're going to keep picking on the, uh, on the Heine story a little bit this morning. But hey, before we get to that, if you would do me, uh, a favor, please, when you join, if you would go ahead and drop a comment down there, let me know that you are here. Say hi. Uh, like that haircut. What's the lamp in the back? Whatever. Uh, I'm happy with all forms of input. So, uh, also it is Tuesday. That means radio show is coming up at the top of the next hour at eight o'clock. Uh, we'll have a surprise guest in the studio with me this morning. So you have to tune in to see who that is. The best way to find that is go to talkradioforentrepreneurs.com. Talkradioforentrepreneurs.com. Get you to the right place. Let's see. Oh, look, we'll put that up there too. Uh, that's at eight o'clock. Be sure and join me for that. All right. So thinking about the, uh, the Heine story. Hey, good morning. My, my dear bride has joined us. Good morning, dear. So thinking about the Heine story, uh, a little bit more, one of the things that, um, that we can take from that story is that, uh, the old man, grandpa was taking input from different people and being responsive to that input. As they would pass the neighbor's house and the neighbors would comment on their decision-making to date, he would think about it and respond to that. Now, in the end, when they got to the cliff and Heine fell off the cliff and fell 1,473 feet to his demise, maybe they wished they hadn't listened and responded to all of that input. So that's what I want to talk to you about today is being responsive to the right input. Be responsive to the right input. There is going to be no shortage of people telling you what you should do. None. There will always be people telling you the right way to do things. Well, you should have done that or you should do this. Lots of people willing to tell you what to do. Uh, as I say very often, there is an art and a science to running a business. The science side of it is really simple. Right. I mean, expenses minus or uh, revenue minus expenses is profit. That's science. It's math. It's not going to change. It's easy to understand. The art of running the business is knowing what goes into each column. Maybe deciding what goes into which column. Right. And so in the in the context of the Heine story here, the art is knowing which input to listen to. We can take input and, and look, I'm, I have always said that all feedback is a gift, right? Good, bad, or otherwise. All feedback is a gift. It lets you know what other people are thinking. Otherwise, we're just having to guess. I mean, if, if I had a product, here's a weird looking item. If I had a product, right, that I wanted to sell and I thought this was the greatest thing since creamy peanut butter, and I did market testing, and 100% of the people said it was stupid. That's negative feedback. But that negative feedback may, excuse me, may have saved me tons of money and time and stress and heartache. Right? So in that case, in that sense, that negative feedback was a gift. Now, I could be bullheaded about it and say, eh, those people, they just don't know what they're talking about. I'm the smart one here. I'm going to market with my product. I could do that. And the likelihood of being successful is infinitesimally small. Right? So the, the trick is knowing which feedback to be responsive to. Now, how do you do that? Practice. And, and well, and there's another aspect of it also, but practice you have to know your market better than anybody else. If you do, then that feedback is going to make sense to you. Either it affirms what you thought or it contradicts what you thought. And like, okay, well, that's not what I thought. I need to look at this more closely. 
or, yep, that affirms what I thought. I need to move on and take as much feedback as you can. But here's the other element. That's kind of the science of it, right? The art of it is to not be afraid even when um, you might be going against the grain. As I said in the opening, there will never be a shortage of people telling you what you should do or how you can do it better. And, and in fact, a lot of those people will give you negative feedback to keep you in the herd. There's this whole idea of herd mentality. Have you ever seen on National Geographic or what was the, the one that, when I was a kid? Mutual of Omaha's Wild Kingdom, right? Where, where, uh, He'd send Jim out into the field, and Jim watched this herd of gazelles. And suddenly, on one side of the herd, a gazelle sensed a threat and began to run. Well, the other animals throughout the herd didn't know about the threat. They just knew everybody was running, so they were running too. Okay? That's herd mentality. And the desire is to keep the herd together. If you start doing things that indicate you might be breaking free from the herd, you'll start to get feedback that is designed to keep you in the herd. Right? Like, when are you going to get a real job? Or, you're not going to quit your job to do that, are you? Or, well, that's pretty risky. I don't know if I would do that. Right? That's all feedback, and all feedback is a gift. But that feedback can be designed to keep you in the herd. The whole point today, and this is, I'll wrap it up with this. The whole point today is be discerning, right? Take everyone's feedback. All feedback is a gift. Take everyone's feedback, but be discerning about it. Don't get the one piece of feedback. If you surveyed 100 people and 99 of them said that my product is stupid, but one of them said it was the greatest thing since creamy peanut butter, don't don't jump in the deep end of the pool just because of that one person. Be discerning. All right. Hey, thanks, everybody, for being here this morning, my bride. Thank you for being here. Brooke and Keith, thank you guys for being here as well. Remember the radio show's top of the hour. Talk radio for entrepreneurs. Get you to the right place. Special guest in the studio this morning. Just have to tune in to find out who it is. And after that, I'll be back here again in the morning. So if you can't catch that show, but you should, if you can't catch that show, tune back in here. Seven o'clock Wednesday morning for more talk radio for entrepreneur. I don't know for more <laughs> seven minutes in the morning. <sighs> I'll bet I'll screw that up on the radio too. You guys have a terrific Tuesday. I'll talk to you tomorrow. <laughs>